figure what's up giants fans hub watchers youtube and rumble subscribers twitter and instagram followers it's kush back at again with another new york giants update video and it's been an eventful weekend for the giants to say the least at least since i want to say late friday afternoon all the way up until you know sunday afternoon the giants have made a couple of moves regarding their roster a couple of signings got back a couple of players as well there's a little bit of an update on the Shane Lemieux injury situation. So let me just start off with that real quick. Joe Judge has said that it's more of a day-to-day -day situation than it is a week-to-week -week one. Um, they're not exactly sure on an exact date as to when Shane Lemieux is going to be back, but he is going to be back within the coming weeks. But they once again reiterate that it's not too serious of an injury and that he should be fine moving forward. Even with that though, they did go out and sign a familiar face in the NFC East. They signed formal Dallas Cowboys offensive lineman, particularly offensive center Joe Looney on Saturday. Now there's a really good depth signing here for the Giants. I know Looney has started quite a few games in the NFL. A quick overview of his career thus far. 6'3", 315. Um, he was drafted in the fourth round by San Fran in 2012. Played three seasons for them. Then he went to Tennessee for a season. He then went to the Cowboys in 2016 and he, where he played there basically until last year. So he does have coaching experience or playing experience I should say under head coach Jason Garrett, now our offensive coordinator. And Looney has started a total of 42 games in his career, played 104. Of those 42, he started 12 of them for Dallas at center. I believe all 12 were last year this past season. And Looney, he's definitely an all right center. I wouldn't say that he's better than Nick Gates at the position. I'd say they're either evenly matched or Gates would have an edge on him. I don't know if that might be a take that some people disagree with, but in my opinion, Nick Gates is currently a better center than Joe Looney. And I, and I say part of that because I would rather have Nick Gates at center and Joe Looney play one of the other guard positions if it comes to something like that during the season where it's either Shane Lemieux or Will Hernandez is indisposed. And first of all, the reason I think they signed Looney is in case of that because as of right now, Shane Lemieux is indisposed. We know he's going to come back, but this is obviously an insurance move here. The Giants have been looking to find interior linemen and of course one lineman that a lot of fans want us to sign is Austin Ryder who by the way is going to meet with the Giants soon and uh, if his meetings go like every other meeting the players have had with the Giants this past offseason he's definitely going to sign I mean Kenny Galladay met, met with us and signed Dory Jackson met with us and signed it seemed like every free agent that we had walk in the building walked out of New York Giant. But it has been confirmed that Joe Looney will be practicing and competing at each three interior spots. So it's good competition and it's great depth for us because I, I think part of these signings not only say they're looking for an insurance option when the season rolls around, it also says they're probably not too comfortable with their guys in Jonathan Harrison, the backup center from the Jets we signed, and Zach Fulton from the Texans. I mean, I personally have no problem with them, but the Giants coaching staff, hey, I'm going to trust their decision making with this for sure. And I really do like this signing because once again, I do see him ending up as a, a guard type of role for us. I mean, he 100% can play center. He's done it before. It's just that I think in this line, he's going to be better suited as a guard. I think Nick Gates did such a good job at center last year. I really don't want to move him unless we have somebody that comes in that is, you know, a surefire better option. And the only person right now that could probably be that is the free agent Austin Ryder. And then you shift Gates back out to guard. He played right guard. I think it was either in 2018 or 2019. And that's what led to the Giants even, you know, saying let's try him out at center in the first place. So if we get somebody like Austin Ryder, who I know for sure is a better center than Nick Gates, I would feel comfortable in shifting Gates back out to that position. And then I think it would be a battle between Will and Lemieux for the left guard position. Anyway, that, that's kind of getting ahead of myself though. But, but as of right now, that's how I see the line playing out um, with Joe Looney being kind of a swing guard type of thing. Kind of like how Cam Fleming was our swing tackle. Hey man, why not have a swing guard as well? Another player who they signed over the weekend was a vet linebacker in Todd Davis. So there's another example where it's just like anytime a, a free agent player walks into the Giants facility, they walk out in a Giants uniform. Todd Davis is a guy who has 
also like uh, Looney quite a bit of experience in the NFL he was an undrafted free agent for New Orleans um, and then he I think in that same year he went to the Broncos and he was with the Broncos for the longest time basically up until 2019 so he has a Super Bowl there he was a starter from 2016 to 2019 so in terms of those of you that are thinking he has the Super Bowl chip was he a starter on that Super Bowl defense he was not a starter I'm pretty sure that year they had a uh, Brandon Marshall the linebacker obviously and Danny Trevathan I want to say as their starters um and then Davis took over after that year and he did you know he did a pretty good job you know he did an all right job in Denver I think that him and Reggie Ragland are really going to be the guys that are going to kind of battle it out for that second, you know, inside linebacker position for the Giants to see who's going to start. I will say, though, as of right now, I think Ragland is still either on the COVID list or on the pup list. One out of the two, he hasn't been on the field because it's been Tay Crowder as the only like notable inside linebacker on the field. But that is going to change with the addition of Davis. And then also um, Blake Martinez is returning from the COVID-19 list so he's gonna be fine and back now as well I mean he he's our guy you know what I'm saying he's the middle linebacker of the Giants right now so I think we all expect great things from him but on Todd Davis Joe Judge did have something to say he says that they're really looking forward to getting him on the field he just signed with us so we're excited about that and he'll come in and compete with the other linebackers at his position and work through his defensive responsibilities as well as his role in the kicking game. Got to meet with him today, sit down face to face and have a good conversation, liked his energy. I've known him as a player in the league for some time but he made a good first impression personality wise and I'm excited to get him on the field. And my guess is, just because Joe Judge said that, if he's not competing for the second inside linebacker spot, or if, you know, he doesn't get it, this guy is going to be a special teams guy for the Giants, which he was a special teams guy, once again, going back to the Super Bowl, in the Super Bowl game, in Super Bowl 50 against Carolina. So, I mean, Judge Al is always on the lookout to make that part of the team better. He never ignores it. And this is another really good, I'd say, depth signing by the Giants, just like Looney. I honestly, um, you know, the big news of the weekend in terms of signing was Joe over Todd, in my opinion. And it still leaves room for a guy in Austin Ryder, depending on how these contracts play out. I haven't seen any, you know, type of information on to how much these guys are getting paid. I'm going to assume something close to the vet minimum. I'd be surprised if it's something more than, like, say, one and a half to two mil a year. That's what I'm expecting for these guys, both because of where they're at the, in their career right now and also because of where the Giants are at with cap space, which is another thing. I have no idea. Austin Ryder is, you know, a better prospect is the wrong word, but a better player than these two at his position. So he's going to definitely need or command more money than them. And that's something to keep an eye out as well for the fans that really want us to sign Austin Ryder. But that's what I got for you all today. Put your thoughts down below. Of course, training camp is still going on. They're going to be in shells today. It's starting to pick up. And Tuesday, they're going to be in pads. So things are about to get real. It's about to get serious. And, you know, we'll see how it turns out there with training camp going forward. But put your thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you all in the next one.